Collins? You know, uh, Collins and Murph were here a little while ago. They just split. We practiced some passing together. Wanna? Later. I came to work on my fakes. Oh, well, me, I, I just came to make like I was playing center, you know, in a real game. Crowd yelling, a hundred chicks holding up signs. Go, Carpenter! Beats uh, warming the bench, that's for sure. Hot uh, coolest, he'll play. There's worse guys in the team. Hey, you know, uh, me and the guys were saying how it was great of the coach to leave the rink open nights like this. You know, so we could get in extra practice. Yeah. Doesn't watch your step, will turn to another Rocky. Who? New Rockney, middle name, Kenneth, Notre Dame football coach, 1918 to 1930. Team won 105, lost 12, tied 5. You're really into football too, huh? Football? You could have it. Well, well I'll, I'll see ya. Yeah. It just kind of sits there, Mom. It doesn't say anything to me. It doesn't say anything to you. Well, listen. Try listening. Hello? I'm Scrapple. They love me in Pennsylvania. Yeah, well, I'm Billy, and I'm sure glad this is in Pennsylvania. Okay, back to bacon and eggs tomorrow. Hey, uh, speaking of eggs, did you know the coach drinks five of them every morning raw? And that's no... You say yolk, and you're going to get a plate in your face. Twelve minutes flat. Just broke my old record. How about that? Yeah, so when are you going to be on the cover of Sports Illustrated, champ? Huh? <sighs> Throw the plate. Pretty cold, why don't you let Dad drop you off? Oh, uh, no. Jogging's good for the figure. You should try it sometimes. Oh, I think I'm going to be sorry I said that. Goodbye. Oh, hey, listen, you two. I'd like to put in some extra time at the rink today, so I might be a little late again. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. See ya. Billy! You know, uh, I really admire your interest in hockey, and uh, I respect how much hard work you're putting into it. And if you get to play on Saturday, uh, well, I hope you score as many goals as, uh, what's his name on the board? Bruins. His name is Jean Rattel, Dad. Yeah, right. But, Billy, Billy, what I'd really like to see, I'd like to see you get a better grade in chemistry this time. Oh, if I don't bring home a B this time around, you can cut my allowance for a month. Deal? Deal. <laughs> see you, Dad. I'll see you.
España se llama El Prado. The most famous art museum in Spain is called El Prado. Uh, El Prado. Good. ¿Dónde está? ¿En Barcelona o Madrid? Kenneth seems prepared, as usual. Kenneth Saunders. Kenneth! Oh, uh... uh <clears throat> sorry, I didn't hear the question. Correct me if I'm wrong, but when you came here in September, you told me you've been in five different schools in the past six years. Yeah, that's right. Correct. Well, did anyone at any of those schools ever make a small request of you? Oh, for example, that you stay awake during class? Uh, I stay awake, Mr. Hayes. It's just that uh, sometimes I like to close my eyes and think. Really? What were you thinking about just now? Oh, uh, <clears throat> I was thinking about the Rye House plot. You see, it was a conspiracy to kill King Charles and his younger brother. And it all happened in a bar called Rumbold's Rye House on London Road. Oh, it's London, England, you know. <laughs> all right, I don't see anything funny about this. Sit down. Well, when you want to hear what happened? If they lived or died? I said sit down. Or maybe you'd rather hear about the Rokosis. Uh, you see, they were Hungarians, princes of Transylvania. First there was Sigmund, who succeeded this crook Bacchus in 1607. And then Did there was... Did you hear me? Hey, Buff. Come on, sit down, huh? Why'd you stick up for him? Why'd you just let him hang? Well, I got this big heart. It's like a watermelon. First off, he's a loner. Nobody knows him, you included, right? All right. He's dumb. No, he's not dumb. That's the one thing he's not. He's dumb. What crud about Hungarians and the King of England? He makes all that up and you believe it. Every word. <laughs> you know, I told my dad about that stupid fight he got into at the Fulton game. You know what he said? He said, what can you expect from a guy whose old man works in a saloon? Well, what is your old man? President of the United States? Close. <laughs> Okay, Art, right, listen, one thing about him, he's, he's a teammate of ours, right? He, he plays on the hockey team. We're all supposed to work together on and off the ice, like the coach says. Like the coach says. Okay, how many goals has he scored this season? Eight. Eight. And the coach won't move him up from third line because he's a troublemaker and a creep. Okay, he's a creep. He's a real gross creep, as you say. <laughs> he has a straight A in detention and he makes up stuff. The next time, I'll just let him hang, okay? Okay. Okay, let's drop okay. it. Okay. All this mess, Stu? Mm. Well, it's better than Scrapple, I'll tell you that. Talking about this stuff, not game. Tina, did you get the word about Chile and Facts being moved to 4th? Yeah, Miss Watson, Betsy told me. Oh, good. You don't be late. Oh, ho, ho, there she goes again. Come on, Art, cool it. Where do you suppose she does go? Every lunch hour, she's off like a bat. Well, what are you, a spy? My fantastic chick from the CIA. Oh, I can't. Not in the cafeteria. Well, I figured this much out. She doesn't go home to eat, else why would she head up Newton? She just bought a house near you, didn't she? Yeah. Well, maybe she goes to see her doctor. She is gonna have a baby, you know. Maybe she goes to see some guy you meet. Crazy carpenter. Can't be a bunch of laughs being married to a wheelchair, especially a lady gym teacher. All right, you know something? If you had two brains, you'd be twice as stupid. Oh, hey, Buff. Hey. Hi. Hey, we got an empty seat here. Yeah. Thanks, but uh, I don't like to talk while I'm eating. That's healthy thinking. My dad would give you a gold star. I hear you didn't get one in Espanol this morning. Doesn't matter. I'll be dropping out of this place pretty soon anyway. Yeah, don't we all wish? Hey. You were great at that last game. Two goals, I almost screamed my lungs out. I wanted to tell you at the party that night, but I couldn't find you. Yeah, well, I'm not into big parties. How about tiny parties? Like at my house next Wednesday? What are you talking about? My father's going to a medical convention in Chicago overnight, and he's finally taking my mom. Big deal. <laughs> uh, I can fix you up with a blind date if you want. Oh, I know this great girl who loved athletes. Jan Buck? I'll see if I can make it. Here's the address. Here, give it to me. Seven o'clock. Billy, you come too. But it's got to be boy, girl. Walk it, a girl. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs>
the game. I want you to get to the hospital, have somebody take you. Oh, come on, man, I ain't going to the hospital. Just fell in the ice. And lost two teeth, and you go. Carpenter, you go with me. Come on. Come on. I'm not begging you. My teammate's in there. He's been in there more than half an hour, and nobody's taken care of him. I'd like to get back to my game while there's still time. I'm sure you would. This is our busiest day since the blizzard. Somebody will be with him. When? Building supervisor. Please call extension 271. Uh, just talked to a nurse. She said a doctor would be right in. Oh, your folks. Hey, can I call your folks? Have them come over and get you? No. Listen, you don't have to hang around. It's okay. Dr. Emergency? Yeah, here, there. Another hockey job. All right, let's go. Are you coming or you just want to stand here and keep livening up the joint? Get some rest. Check in with your dentist first of the week. Guess your game's over by now. Yeah, I guess. Well, I hope they won anyway. Without you two superstars. Yeah, I hope so. Thanks. You're welcome, young man. Doctor? The Saunders boy. Did you notice how he didn't even wince when you stuck the needle in his lip? That's partly because the shock temporarily knocks out the pain receptors and partly because he was half anesthetized already. What do you mean? Booze. You were gonna drop out? In June. When I'm 16. Out and far away. 
Good. Where? I don't know. I like to be out in the open. Not trapped like in that crummy school or that hey, supermarket, you know? Hey, what's going on? You work? Yeah, Saturday mornings and a couple of nights a week. How about you? Odd jobs and around the house. I've already got over 200 bucks, eh? Well, you got me beat. By 200 bucks? Huh? Well, I'm just saving mine so I can buy a car when I graduate. You know, before I go to college, take a trip out west. Maybe California. Oh, I'll tell you what. Wherever I am then, we'll get together and I'll split with you. Oh, please. I never kiss on my first date. Ah, uh, I was... What I meant was, I, I'm not sure I might get a motorcycle or something. Well, this is the place. Want to come up for a while? Uh, if you're worried about your folks, you can call them. Tell them to be a little late for supper. Well, no, they, they won't be home for another hour or so. Oh, great, and there's no sweat. Come on. Your folks. Don't you ever come to any hockey games? Uh, no. My dad digs things like bridge and crossword puzzles, loud opera records. My mom's afraid I'll get hurt. Yeah. She probably thinks I'll fall off the bench. That's not exactly the Stanley Cup up there. But he was pretty good in his time. Wow. You're really something. Yeah. He's a bartender now. Works at the Hobble Hill Tavern. Man, he hates it. But then again, my old man hates a lot of things. Well, maybe when you've been used to playing professional hockey, it's hard to make the change to other things. Yeah, maybe. Oh, here, I'll tell you what. Ask me anything beginning with an R. Anything. You see, I got this uh, dictionary encyclopedia about a year ago, and I decided to learn more about R's than anybody else in the world. Well, why R's? Why not? Okay, uh, Rochelle, La. La Rochelle, French poor in the Atlantic. Come on, another one, a harder one. Okay, uh, Rockefeller, John D. What's the D stand for? Think you got me? I don't know. Davison, born 1839, died 1937. Same year President Franklin Delano Roosevelt was inaugurated for a second term during the middle of the Great... De I'll be right back. Hi, uh, I'm Billy Carpenter. How are you? Ken Saunders. Uh, uh, Buff, he's, uh... Oh, yeah, yeah, I heard about it at the bar. What happened? Uh, well, it's pretty terrible. He broke off two of his front teeth in the <laughs> No kidding, I didn't lose mine until I was 18. These four right up here. These is all pottery. <laughs> uh, I went to the hospital with him. Yeah, that was nice of you. Thanks a lot. How's he taking it? Fine. Carpenter, Carpenter. You, you wouldn't happen to be any relation to Pete Carpenter. Played for the Canucks back in the 60s? Uh, not that I know of. <laughs> it was good. It was damn good. He had a real sweet touch around the gold mouth. And his puck looked like it was stuck to his stick. Hey, Buff, where you hiding? <laughs> come here, come here. Let's have a look at that. Come on, open up. Yeah. Oh, oh sorry, sorry. Just let me see. Come on. <laughs> I gotta get a picture of that for the album. What are you doing home so early? Uh, the health department boys closed us down for the night. They found two dead mice in the pretzel pantry. I mean, I know those pretzels were stale, but come on. <laughs> okay. Here, stand here. Here, hold this. That's it. Freeze now. Say Shazam! I want to show you this writer here. He's one of the best sports writers in the whole Midwest. Here, here we are. Look. He was sort of one of my fans. So he says here, uh, you can get to know most players' moves, but not with Saunders. There's no way. He 
feints as well to his left as to his right, an advantage that leaves every opposing defense man wondering. <laughs> I bet they're wondering where I am now. Probably think I'm coaching somewhere. <laughs> like in the North Pole. <laughs> Saga of my great career. <laughs> and bus begins right back here. There's only a couple of pages, and it's not so fancy, but I'm not as good with the scissors and the glue as his mother was. <laughs> well, that's a, it's a great book, Mr. Saunders. Yeah, sure, thanks. And you must be real proud of it. Ah, uh, let's just say I'm proud of my boy here. Because he's going to make it bigger and better, right? <laughs> uh, Mr. Saunders, I, I think I should call my folks. Yeah, sure, go right ahead. There's a, there's a telephone and bus room. I don't like people calling me up in the middle of the day and trying to sell me a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> Especially when I got no rug. <laughs> Excuse me. There's no point having Dad pick me up. It's only a ten-minute jog if I use Wadley. Yeah. Okay. I will. All right, bye. Report card. You can forge your mind. Well, what's the difference? I don't want to stay in that lousy school anyway, and you know it. What I know is you're staying. Oh, yeah, until you decide to pack up and we move again? Until you graduate from high school and maybe, just maybe, you win a scholarship to a college where you can play hockey. Yeah, and become a pro like you, right? Well, why not? You got the potential? And I'm talking about the pros. Some of those guys hold down 100,000 bucks a year now. Oh, yeah, well, what happened to you, Chef? 100,000 quarts of this, huh? Put that down. What for? Because you're not old enough. Oh, yeah, well, how old is it to be to get stinking drunk like you? if he tries. Where's your date, lover? Well, I've tried to get one. It's not easy on Wednesdays, you know. I'll go see if the keys to the reins are ready. Still ready? Oh, you want help? Yeah, I got everything. Thanks. Hey. Hi, Billy. Oh, hi. Hi. Julie Buck's date. If he shows. What do you want? Why, you digger? Been hiding something from your best buddy here? <laughs> <laughs> Here. Be careful, they're hot. Oh, that's got to be buff. Hi. I knew you'd make it. 
Uh, let me take your parka. Oh, that's all right. I'm still a little cold. It's pretty bad out there. Yeah. Hey, you guys know Buff. And this is Julie, Julie Seidman. She's your date. How you doing? Hi. Oh, I brought these for the party, Tina. Oh, thanks. Where'd you get the beer? I work in the supermarket. And I happen to know the right people. Okay? It's all right, ain't it? Yeah, sure. Only thing, I think we better move downstairs. My mother will have kittens if any of it spills under good chairs. Don't worry about it. My buddy. But he's a real drag. There's like a 200 meter flash over here. Yeah, I'll tell you what. Let me see let the two keep making eyes at each other. Don't so mean you shift over to some of the real stuff, huh? You got the pads on, and it doesn't hurt. It's graceful. Hockey's graceful. You should try it sometime. Well, I will. Yeah, <laughs> girls play. I know. Buff. Uh, uh, Art said he was real gross. I guess he was right. Hey, that's my date you're talking about. <laughs> hey, Julie, yeah. I was thinking running and uh, keeping in shape, it must be very important to you, huh? Like cocky to me. I've always liked it, and I want to be very good at something. Oh, well, I'm sorry, I teased you. Oh, it feels fixed. Gotta get into that. I feel sick. Hey, what kind of party is this? Leaving me downstairs after telling me to.
You okay? What? Sitting, same as always. Oh, where's the face? It's in my head. But it's not in the coaches. How about Buff Saunders? Is he going to play? I heard he got hurt last week. No, he's okay. He'll play. Oh, good. Mrs. Watson, why do you suppose people get drunk? Well, people have problems. Sometimes they think that drinking helps, I guess. <sighs> Do you drink, Billy? No. Uh, no, I, I was just wondering about it. I wish the kids that drink would wonder about it. What do you mean? Well, maybe they'd ask for help. Well, help where? Well, that depends. A doctor, a social worker, me. You? Yeah, I'm a teacher. I know everything, right? Well, that was mighty neighborly of you. Can I pay you back with a ride to school? Uh, well, no, I wish you could, but I really have to run and improve my wind. Well, you got a great day for it. I'd say. See you at school. Party, huh? At least what I remember of it. I've been to better. I want to say thanks for bringing me home. Again. I'm sure getting another route. Look, Billy, I'd like to give you a little something for that. Sorry, I don't take the tips. Bill, maybe you should. I mean, look, uh, if you don't realize it, it's about time somebody told you. Uh, you ain't a good hockey player. I mean, you skate okay, but you need a lot more work with your shooting and your stick handling. But I'd like to help you out. You know, in private. Starting today. Okay? What, do you think they're gonna keep the rink open just for us? Hey, man, I got pulled. Now, here's the plan. We split after practice, then we come right back. And I pull that door over on the west side. The dumb lock's been broken ever since I got here. How about it? Okay, thanks. All right, now, let's see your slap shot. And bam, really nail it. All right, nice, couple more. Good. Now keep your hand down the stick more. Make it a good one. Okay, head it rip. Terrific. How was that? That was great. All right. Now, let's see the puck go make love to the net. If you can get it past me, that is. Oh, it'll get past you. Oh, yeah? It'll get past you. Come on. Ah! Oh, I made it! I can't believe I did that. Yeah. You're still a punk. All right, let's take a breather. Okay. here on the ice. Ice is just ice. 
Never hassles you. Eh. You lose a couple of teeth, it's your own fault. You don't blame it on the ice. You come here a lot, huh? Sure. Whenever I can. You know, Bob? What? Well, I think sometimes... I think that you could be one of the smartest guys in school. Huh? Yeah. yeah. I also think that you could be the best wing on the team. Only for some reason you put on an act like you don't want to be. How would I do that? Huh. Just like I don't know why you drink too much sometimes. You know, you're starting to sound like my old man now. He says the same thing. But I do certain things to spite him. Do ya? Yeah. Sometimes. But we had a long talk this morning, and uh, I told them, look, you loosen up on me, and you cut down on your drinking, and I'll stay in school and keep playing hockey. What about your drinking, though, Buff? You gonna quit? Me? Yeah. Sure, I'm quitting. No more booze for me, boy. Nothing. Except on holidays and stuff. Let's go. Why? One thing. That wasn't a long enough break for me. Oh, come on, you old man. Okay, here it comes. Oh, look, Julie, they... They both admitted that they have a problem, and they're going to iron it out. I think they can. Mrs. Watson gave a lecture on alcoholics and hygiene once. She said they all talk like that, lie a lot to everybody, especially to themselves. Alcoholic? He's not even 16 yet. Mrs. Watson said that... So, Mrs. Watson said... That, for one thing, some people's bodies are allergic to alcohol, no matter how old they are. Nine or ninety. I mean, obviously, I don't know whether Buff is or isn't, but are you mad or something? What? Are you mad? Oh, no, I'm not. I, I was just thinking about something. What? Uh, well, just, well, I was thinking. Actually, I was wondering if you'd like to go to a movie sometime. Sure. Next week? Uh, yeah, deal. <laughs> deal. Deal. Okay. Uh, oh, well, I, I'll see you then. Right. Bye. Bye. still has some pain in his ankle, so you're going to be skating with the second line. Yeah? Yeah, try to keep those new teeth in your mouth from now on, okay? <laughs> hey, second line, huh? Hey, Carpenter, I've been seeing some improvement in your game. You keep it up, and you might even get those splinters out. <sighs> Thanks, Coach. Okay. Get the splinters out. Why don't you tell them how good a coach I am? couple of things, a toilet paper and a blueberry pie. Ah, that's aisles two and six. Thanks. Listen, I was going to give you a call. See you out with uh, no game this week. And my old man happy about the promotion. He's taking a night off to cook up a pig out. Special celebration for me. And we'd like you to come over. Well, uh, who else is going to be there? Or well, just the three of us. Bob, let's move it. Well, I'll be there. What time? Hey, Billy, say that again. <laughs> I said the way I see it, next year Buff will be the best player on the team. Now, didn't you hear that? 
If you won't believe it from your father, believe it from an impartial observer. All right, all right, I believe. Look, these here sausages are real Sicilian style. They are so hot, they'll burn your tongue right off. Mm. I think they were invented by an arsonist. <laughs> There's no more hot stuff in the house. When I cut down, I cut down good. But on a night like tonight, you gotta have a little something. Wine, women, and song. That's how the saying goes, isn't it? Well, one out of three ain't so bad. It ain't good, but it ain't bad. <laughs> Son, I'm proud of you. You'll never know how proud. Okay. Now tell him about splitting the puck. Oh, yeah. That was the night. It was about 10 degrees below zero. I was up in Grand Forks, North Dakota. <laughs> We're playing outside in the light, see? Well, I pick up this loose puck, and I get by the two defensemen, and it's just me and the goalie, one on one, see? So I let fly with a real hard slap shot. And it hits the goalpost, and half of it goes outside, but the other half goes right into the net. I scored half a goal. <laughs> no, come on. I, I swear. It was so damn cold out that puck's pushing too. <laughs> well, it must have been a pretty high shot, too. Yeah, I did have a pretty good shot. <laughs> I tell you, I'd love to be able to do that. You know, zip past the defense, we crank up the shoot. And... That was one of your mother's best glasses. I know, but. For what? What's the matter? She was my wife, and it matters. Clean that up. You hear me? I said clean that up. Finishing the wine. Yeah, that's already finished. He's drinking the hard stuff. He said we don't have any more of. Hey, Bob. Uh, how'd your mom die? She was at a party with him. And my mom wanted to leave. He didn't. So she got a ride home with somebody else. And the uh, car went over a drawbridge. They both drowned. It was a long time ago, huh? I was nine. Well, it's late. You better get going. Hey, uh, Buck, I gotta ask you. You're not gonna drink anymore, are you? Yeah, I mean anything. Wine, beer. We got that St. Luke's game next week. I don't worry about it. I don't want to end up like him. See you later. Hey, listen. If you want to come stay at my house tonight, there's a spare room. Thanks. Maybe some other time. Okay.
we can be with tonight, huh? Lisa, uh -huh. Brenda, or Doreen. Let that penalty story, are you? Even the coaching story. Besides, we won, huh? Yeah, see you at the party? I don't know. How about you split straight home and crash before my old man starts asking me about my job? What happened? Hey, quit. The stupid manager was always on my case, you know? Hey, listen. Those two assists you got are as good as a couple of goals. I hope you know that. Yeah. Doesn't get me a letter. But at least I play. Thanks a lot, Mark. I'll see you Monday. I appreciate you dropping me off first, Art. Gotta conserve gas, you know. You wouldn't want me to have to double back from Julie's house. Yeah, tell me about it. Good night, Julie. Bye, Billy. to come to, come to your house. We have buffed at Billy Carpenter's house. I'm a neighbor. Listen, Mr. Saunders, we've got to get him to a hospital. No, we need your permission to take him to North Haven. It's urgent, Mr. Saunders. We'll meet you there. Check with an Alan Gaffey if you can't locate us. That's Alan Gaffey. Use this to dry him off. Billy, help me listen. Billy, you leave a note for your folks? Uh, yes, I did. Take it easy. You're going to be all right. Mrs. Watson, who's Alan Gaffey? He's an old friend. Uh, come on, Watson. I'm an alcoholic. I've been sober for eight years, counseling for nearly seven. Uh, I've been reading this thing here. Uh, it says here the, the family comes here nights? Right. You sit in with two groups, first of all with other co-alcoholics and then the alcoholics themselves. Co-alcoholics? That's what we call anybody who's associated with an alcoholic. I see. Mr. Saunders, they took a blood alcohol test of your son. On a scale from one to five, one is drunk. He was nearly four. Five is dead. He's a very sick boy. You realize that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, and I, I want to help him. Uh, I want him to stay here. And I got a health insurance that'll take care of the hospital bill. But I'm a bartender. I work nights. <laughs> There's no insurance I got that takes care of my food and rent, you know. So you're going to pull out? Barbara. Lady, I don't even know you. I'm a recovering alcoholic, too. When they brought me in three years ago, my count was over four. I'm sorry. You don't have to be. I consider myself very lucky. I'm glad. But look, you're talking about drunks and alcoholics. I mean, lots of us drink a little without ever becoming drunks, you know. Yes, I do know. Well, you keep going on about Buck. So he did something a little bit crazy. That doesn't make him a drunk. He is a drunk. He's an alcoholic. He ain't even 16 yet. Then he's a 15-year-old alcoholic. It's that simple. Come on, babe. Take it easy. Mr. Saunders. 
When they told me my husband would spend his life in a wheelchair, I didn't think I could handle it. And the only time it seemed bearable is when I drank. So I nearly killed myself drinking. But I was helped by my husband, by the people in this place, and by AA. I go almost every day. I understand I have a disease. I'm never going to be cured. But I have been helped. And I can control it. And so can Buff, Mr. Saunders. Please. Mr. Saunders? I already told you, I can't swing it. I know he's in good hands here. That's the important thing. Have you decided on a name for the baby yet? I've got a couple ideas. How about Alan? What if it's a girl? Well, that's not going to work. Huh. Alan. I was thinking, uh, wondering if someone could stand in for Buff's father till he comes. Yeah, sure. Does he have any other relatives you know about? Uh, no. No, I, I was thinking, like, maybe me. This old brain of mine works a little overtime on Saturdays. Uh, can you hit us with that again, Billy? I think I said it pretty clear, Dad. You're going to go to this hospital for this kid you hardly know. No, I know him. Well, I mean, he's, he's never been here to the house, has he? No. I guess he's a little shy. And he drinks a lot. Yeah. And he's your friend. Yeah. We play hockey, hockey together. together. <sighs> Dad, I, I told you. I'm only going to do it until his father takes over. Well, did his father say uh, when? Uh, a couple of days? A week? No. That's the problem. You see, he has this job and it's nights and he can't... So I guess in the meantime you're going to be quitting your hockey? No. No, I'll still be able to make practice after school. What about your homework? Well, that I'll... I'll do at lunch and on the bus. The bus to North Haven? Yeah. This program, Billy, how many hours is it going to take? Well, it's Mondays through Fridays, 6.15 to 10. 6.15 to 10. So, you tack on the bus time, which is 50 minutes each way at least, and you, you're going to be gone uh, 30 hours a week, right? That's right. Okay. Now I'm going to say something. And I mean what I'm going to say. I don't want you doing it. I know you don't, Dad. But I promised them I would do it, and I'm going to do it. Now, it's just until his father comes, and if he doesn't, or if it gets too heavy for me, well, then I'll quit. Excuse me. Is this whole thing wrong, or is it just me? Is it wrong, Louise? Well, maybe. Well, yes. Well, why didn't you say something? Well, I don't know. We've taught him not to break a promise. Promise? But this isn't like, you know, cleaning out the attic or shoveling snow. I mean, there's a lot of kids that drink. It's tough enough to raise a good kid without having him suddenly start to hang around with a bunch of drunks. That's what we're talking about here. You know that. I know. Bunch of damn drunks.
So uh, why don't we make a round? I'm Ruth, an alcoholic, and your counselor for this group. I'm Dave, co-alcoholic. I'm Valerie, co-alcoholic. I'm Edna, co-alcoholic. Uh, I'm, I'm Billy, temporary co-alcoholic. Good to see you. It's good to be here. Well, that makes one of us. Anybody have anything they'd like to bring up? <clears throat> Everything's moving along fine and dandy, right? Okay. Well, there's something I'd like to touch on tonight. Kids. There's an epidemic going on out there. Young people drinking. We're glad to have two of them with us tonight. Lucy, Buff, we're glad you're with us. If it's such an epidemic, how come there ain't more of us in this rat trap? Because we haven't found ways to reach everybody who needs help. Want to tell us a little bit about yourself? Like what? Like how you got here. You know how I got here. They dragged me in. Now lay off. Get off my back. All of you. That's it? Yeah, that's it. You take the bus too, Ellen? Yeah, but I go the other way. Your friend, he's a tough customer. Yeah. He sure is sometimes. You know, he reminds me of another kid I was on intimate terms with once. You know, if anybody had ever told him he'd be carrying around one of these someday, he'd have said, man, you're more loaded than I am. They gave it to me at an Alcoholics Anonymous meeting after my first 30 days of no booze. A long time ago. Right in there. After I finally dumped that two-ton septic tank I'd been carrying around with me on my back since I was 14. I didn't think it'd work, but it did. does it work? Well, like with your friend. First you let him off the hook, like tonight, and maybe the next time and the next. And then finally when you see a crack in their hostility, you jump in there and you get them to talk and talk more. So finally they open up and let it all out. Like what? Like admitting they're alcoholics and tell why they drink and why they know they've got to stop. Does it always work? See you tomorrow.
Hello? Hello, Mr. Saunders. Uh, what is it? Give me that. Oh, hold on a second. This is Gus Carpenter. What do you want? Well, no, he's not. Why? I wanted to know how Buff did tonight, how he's coming along. Well, why don't you ask me how my son's coming along? You know, it's after 11, he's not home yet? Oh, I appreciate what he's doing, but I didn't ask for no favors. You do me one. Leave us the hell alone. Billy. I'm okay, Mom. Is Buff okay, too? Yeah. That was his dad, huh? Yeah. That was his dad. You didn't have to talk to him like that. Why not? Billy. He's got a disease, Dad. He won't face it, but he has it, too. Billy, you think... You think I enjoy getting angry? I mean, acting that way? I'm concerned about you. He calls about his son. I'm worried about mine. We both are. Billy, I don't like this at all. Going to bed at 11.30 and getting up at 6. You can't keep this up five days a week. I've been out late before, Mom. Billy, has it occurred to you that maybe, and I'm just saying maybe, that you're being taken advantage of by this boy's father? By this whole program? What did you accomplish there tonight? Anything? It's only been one night. But you don't know. Well, I hope I do. What does that mean? Come on, it's late. We're all tired, hon. Let's just... Uh, no, I want to know. What does that mean? means what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to help a guy stay alive. I'll see you in the morning. Saunders is coming back, man. Why? I think we could use it. Oh, Saunders is out. Face it, you know that family problem he quit town for? I think you can spell that a long cut. Just relax, just win this game. Let's go! Hello, son. Hi. 
You're looking fine. You want to sit down? Dr. Bailey, please call extension 124. Dr. Bailey. It's, it's warm in here. Nice. You know, Buff, is, you, you should see it outside. Boy, that, that wind is really something again today. <laughs> You know, the old flitter was, it was, it was quivering more than I was. How you feeling? Warm. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's like I was saying, it is warm here, but that's nice. That's the way a hospital should be. You know, I tried to call you last week, but that floor nurse, or whatever you call it, she wouldn't even tell me if you were a patient here or not. Hey, you know what we ought to do this summer? We ought to go up to, up to Canada and camp out. You know, like we used to do in Minnesota by Round Lake? Those were good days, remember? Some of them. Look, look at this. <laughs> I'll brush it so you can show it around. Especially this year. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Son, you understand why I can't make it here during the week, don't you? Sure. The guy who drinks doesn't want other drinkers spotting him. Feel better now? I feel stupid for crying like that. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. It says that somewhere in the Bible. That's what it's about here sometimes, too. Okay. Okay. Well, I guess that's it. Larry lights up a ten on the dot, means the meeting's over. I'll see you all tomorrow. Good night. Thanks, Bob. Ellen? Hey, Ellen, can you leave? I want to talk to you. Lucy and Edna, you can have two minutes. Thanks. Listen, she told me that. you, Billy? you have anything you'd like to share with the group? 
No. No. Yeah. Yeah, there is. We won again our last game, Buff, and that means we're eligible for the state playoffs. And by that time, I figure you'll be out of here. And while I'm in here, I don't want to hear about school or hockey or any playoffs. You understand? Hey, tell me something. You ever feel like throwing in the towel on this guy? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, maybe sometimes. The truth. And quit the nice guy crud. Do you? Yeah, I do. Well, why don't you tell him how you feel? Well, Buff, sometimes I just think... I wonder... What I'm doing here. Why don't you get out? There's the door. Why should he come here anyway? Me? No. Then get out. Maybe I should, Buff. Maybe I should, because maybe you don't know what it's like for me to be here. To get this sick feeling in my stomach. Sick of this whole place, man. And sick of you looking at me like I was some kind of an enemy. Sick of having to ride that bus home. Sick of waking up. Sick and tired. You know what I'm sick of more than anything, man? You know what I'm sick of thinking? I'm sick of the thought that I might be wasting my time coming here. And I'll tell you one thing, is I'm not gonna be here tomorrow. It's my birthday and I'm not gonna come waste it on this guy. Tell him. I'm not gonna waste my birthday on you. So it's your birthday. I wouldn't expect you to be here. You know what the old philosopher said about birthdays? No. What? You no jog to school. You let your old man give you a lift. Okay. Come on. Thanks, Dad. Thank you. Sixteen big ones. How does it feel? Feels good. Feels real good. You know, uh, Billy, I was thinking about tonight. Uh, instead of having dinner, I think, it, well, you know, your mom would be cooking one of those specials. Uh, let's face it, I know you want to see your friends. Oh, wait, Dad, that's tradition. We always eat at home on well, birthdays. Oh, wait, but just let me finish. I, I just think it might be a fun idea for the three of us to go up to North Haven and you can visit the hospital and we can go and see the Janettas. And then the three of us later can go out to the Red Coach and have a nice dinner. Cut a pretty mean slab of prime rib. How about it? Well, I... It's just that I wasn't really planning on going to the hospital tonight. Yeah, but you'd like to. I don't know. I... Yeah, I guess I would. Okay, then it's prime rib. I'll call your mom and tell her. All right? Okay, great. Start pulling an Allen on me now. No, I was, I was just making an observation. That's what this whole place is. One big, lousy observatory. Yeah. I used to hate it here, too, at first. But you know, I really believe that this place is helping me to put all that in the past. Ah, uh, Billy Carpenter phoned in just a little while ago and said he's going to be here tonight. What did I tell you? You didn't tell me anything. Oh, well, I was thinking it, that he'd make it. Hey, Buck, you know, I'm getting out in two days. Well, and I thought maybe when you get out, maybe we ought to get together sometime if you want to. Yeah, sure. Okay. I'll see you later.
Hey, uh, what's going on in here? Hi. How's the birthday boy? Great. Don't look. This is a surprise. How do you spell birthday? Uh, I don't know, Mom. I flunk spelling. Hey, uh, what else smells so good? Mmm. You want a peek? Yeah. It's in the oven. Oh. Oh, hey. Yeah, she's even bigger than the one we had for Thanksgiving. He. It's a Tom. Oh, well, uh, sorry, old Tom. Mmm. You want to lick this, or are you too old for that? Oh, are you kidding? I'll get that. Mm -hmm. Hello? Yeah. Oh, hi, Dad. How's it going? Oh, it's good. Well, listen, is, uh, is Mom around? Well, I, haven't, I didn't have a chance to phone her yet. Be... Uh huh? Yeah. Well, listen, Billy, what happened? I got tied up in a meeting, and then I had to drive over to Sixton for another meeting, and... Well, by the time I looked at my watch... Hey. Hey, no, it's okay, yeah. Listen, she has this meal halfway cooked as it is. Well, I'll just, uh... call the hospital, I guess, and tell them I can't make it tonight. Oh, a lot of people miss going once in a while. All right, I'll be home in a little while. Bye-bye. Um, he just called to say he'd be a little late. Nothing serious. Did Billy call in? Yeah, he called. I got a message. He said he couldn't make it and he'll explain tomorrow. Well, then you can give him that present tomorrow, then. Yeah, I guess so. Say, so, listen, you want to go to the lounge, maybe see a Twilight Zone or something? Nah. I've seen every one of those at least ten times. Yeah, so have I, nearly. Well, I'll see you in the morning, then. Night. Night. Yes, he is. Just a moment, please. Billy. Yeah, hello. Billy, it's Alan. Did you hear about Buff tonight? No. No, no, what happened? I just got word he split the hospital about an hour ago. Oh, no. Have you talked to his father? Yeah, I called him at the bar. He's at home now, waiting for him to show up, maybe. They usually do go home. Yeah. Well, keep in touch if you hear anything. I'll call you tomorrow. Oh, and, uh, happy birthday, buddy. Thanks. I have to go out for a little while. It's, uh, it's buff. Saunders. I've got an idea where he might be.
I want to talk to you, Bob. Yeah, and I don't want to hear you, so just get lost. This is wrong, what you're doing, son. Well, what I do is always wrong to you. Now get lost. And you too. And take the lush with you. Buffy's worried about you. Did you ever think of that? Yeah, he's worried. Me too. You know what you're doing? You're just setting yourself up to drink again. Well, they promote you to counselor at that hospital? You know what I did when I got the call? I got down on my knees. Yeah, you mean you fell on them. I got down on my knees and I prayed, first to God for forgiveness if I help you to get this way. And then your mom, to let me find you safe. You prayed to my mother? That's a joke. All I ever heard you say about her since she died is that she was better with the scissors and glue than you are. And now all of a sudden you pray to her? It's been a long time that I prayed. Why the hell did you pray for her the night you killed her? What does that mean? The night you let her leave the party and she died. That ain't the way it happened, but... Oh, really? Really? Well, how did it happen? Come on, make up some lie. Cook up some story about my mother, you damn lying rush. Come on! If you want to know what happened, make him tell you. Ask him, ask him what happened. What happened? Ask him again. Tell me what happened. Mr. Saunders, what happened? I'll ask you a question, now you tell him. Oh, whatever it is, it has to be better for him to know. I can't tell you, Buff. I want to know. No. I want to know! I don't want to hurt you, son. I think it's wrong to tell you, but... I didn't know you blamed me for your mom's death. You left her at the party. You told her to come home with somebody else, and if you didn't leave her, she'd still be alive today! I didn't leave her! Things weren't working out between your mom and myself. I, I know most of it was my fault because of the drinking, but there were a lot of things. You know, I was on the road a lot with the team, and uh, she must have been lonely, but anyway, she... She started to see another man. Look, it, it wasn't her fault. It wasn't anybody's fault, but... That night it happened. We had a party together, and, and the guy came in, and... Uh, we got into a hassle, she got mad at me, and she split with him. And that's how she died. Two of them in his car. Together. Plastered liar. That's not the way it happened. Not with my mother! You killed her! Son, we're not saints, we're just parents. But this thing that's poisoning it, it's something that never even happened. Not the way you think. You're a liar. You're a liar! You're a liar! That's not what happened! That's not what, what are you happened! Doing? What's all you doing, huh? What are you gonna do? You gonna hit your dad, huh? And then maybe me and use that as an excuse to start drinking again? And to kill yourself? Buff, we don't want you to kill yourself. You see that? He's lying. That's not the way it happened. He's lying.
say all three of us go back to North Haven tonight, huh? Tomorrow I'm going to take over for you, Billy. I don't know if I can hack it, but I'm going to give it one hell of a try. You guys noticed that I didn't do so great out there in practice just now. But I suppose that hospital, good as it was, didn't exactly keep me in uh, top shape. Anyway, that's where I was. And that's what I was doing there. And to keep this short and sweet, that's it. Okay. Let's hit the ice again. did, I think it took something real special. Thanks a lot. Hey, you coming over for dinner Sunday night? Yeah, I'd like to. I promised my old man I'd do something with him. Oh, yeah? Say, how's he doing? Pretty good. Till last Tuesday, that is. What happened last Tuesday? Uh, he got smashed. Hey, Buff, I'm sorry. I really am. Well, he's been dry ever since, you know. I tell you, he's trying. And uh, that's what he promised. Me too. Hey, you know, I know what's wrong with, uh, with the game. Ah, huh? you finally figured it out? Yeah, you see, you're not lucky. Lucky? Luck. Well, if it's been luck, why didn't you have me out looking for four-leaf clovers instead of hitting pucks? Yeah, you're smart mouth, you other teachers like you do me. Huh? Well, they make sense most of the time. All right. I happen to have something here that will guarantee you luck. All right? If it doesn't, you better give up hockey and take up chess. All right, what is it? It's something I want you to have. What? Oh, hey, wait a minute, Buff. I can't take this. It's your medallion. You earned it. Don't worry about it. I get another one in two months anyway. A red one. You see, they give it to me in my AA meetings, along with a cake with three candles on it. In that case, okay. 